welcome to the Elusive Little Electron. Today, we're going to look at how we solve for the mole ratio in a hydrated salt. It's very similar to the process that we use for determining an empirical formula of a compound. We still have the percent to mass, mass to moles, divide by the smallest. Never going to multiply to the whole. So percent to mass, mass to moles, divide by the smallest would be the most steps that you have. So in our case, we have this salt, Na sodium thiosulfate, Na2S2O3 dot XH2O. This is almost always, there's a few exceptions, going to have a mole ratio of 1 to a whole number x. Okay, there's some examples where x is a half, but I, I really don't anticipate you seeing those. So our goal is to find that x. What is that mole ratio? So that means we need to find moles of our sodium thiosulfate, and we need to find moles of water so that we can divide by the smallest to get a, a whole number mole ratio. Okay, so I like to lay mine out this way. The question tells me I have 16.59 grams of the hydrated salt. So the whole hydrated salt is 16.59 grams. The dry sample, what you do is you put it in a crucible and you heat it up and weigh it and then you heat it and cool it and weigh it and heat it and cool it and weigh it until you reach a constant mass. That constant mass will be evidence that you've driven off all of the water that's trapped and tightly bonded inside that crystal structure. So this is called an anhydrate without water. And that's 10.59. Now, if you lay it out this way, hopefully you can see pretty obviously that this is just a simple subtraction to get the water. Okay, and so that gives us six grams of water. So we didn't have percentages to deal with. If we did, you would do it the same way as an empirical formula. Percent to mass, you just assume a total of 100 grams. Right. Now we've got to go mass to moles, but instead of an element, now I have a salt. And so mass to moles, use molar mass. I'm going to use the molar mass of the salt, 158.12 grams. And again, be really cautious about carrying a number of digits so you don't get rounding areas, errors. And don't forget to bring that magnitude out of your calculator. That's a common thing we see when we're grading the AP test. This is water. So I'm going to use the molar mass of water to go mass to moles. And I get 3.3296 times 10 to the minus 1. And again, don't forget that magnitude. Percent to mass, mass to moles. We just did that step. Now it's divide by the smallest, which should be the salt, because the salt is going to be number one. Um, so you can say percent to mass, mass to moles, divide by the salt. It's not quite a sing song but hopefully it'll help you. Okay. Divided by 6.697 times 10 to the minus 2. And this is 1, and this is 5. And there should be no rounding to whole here. So what that means is instead of this x here, we have now discovered that that is that there are five waters. So the name of this would be sodium thiosulfate penta for five hydrate. Okay, if you're dehydrated, you drink water. So hydrate means water. So penta hydrate. Okay, thanks for joining me. Take care and good luck with chemistry.